Okay, so how I created my cosmic elements and my star fields, where I squirt liquids onto a plate of glass. Now I can go on and on and talk about how to achieve this shot, but I'm just gonna try to just keep it simple, maybe give you guys a few pointers so you guys can just experiment and try it out for yourselves because that's the only way you're really gonna learn. This is a, a piece of glass. I used some basic light stands with some super clamps. And no one ever knows this, this cosmic background I composited into the shot. Your eyes kind of train directly towards the glass and no one ever notices that. And it's one of my favorite composites I've ever done. And you're gonna want a, a very directional main source light that you're gonna angle just right eye level with the glass where it's just gonna skim right across the top and you'll even be able to see all the little dust particles being illuminated on the glass. And those dust particles are actually gonna look like stars, hopefully. I'm hitting that surface and you can kind of see the little dust particles. Now a C-stand or, or some sort of tripod that you can go straight over your subject and look directly down. And you're gonna want sandbags if you do have a C-stand because you don't want your camera tipping over. I find that just having an extra light source brings out a lot of the shadows from all the other little elements on the glass. It's good to have a few extra lights here and there because you just got to kind of go with the rhythm and feel it out and just work your lights around and find a good spot because I can never predict what I'm actually going to create. And I get my assortments of liquids there. As you can see, I'm starting to squirt liquids on to the glass surface. And it's a lot of condensed milk with a little bit of food coloring. You're gonna to wanna to hit it every now and then with hydrogen peroxide, and it's going to create kind of a reaction where it's gonna push a lot of the liquids apart from each other. And it's gonna be so minor and so minute that you might not even be able to tell by looking at it. What I do is I do time-lapse photography where I have an intervalometer. I have it set where it takes like a picture every second. I shoot some hydrogen peroxide and I kinda of see the reaction happening. And then I kinda of just walk away for five, 10 minutes, and I come back and then I import the footage. And like this is probably over 10 minutes, this reaction right here. And just be careful about mixing, you know, alcohol. And don't be bringing bleach in, making mustard gas or anything like that. So simple water-based stuff works just fine. And this is kind of how I created a lot of the, the star elements for our star field plate. I would mask out the stars. So what I would do was pretty much just make a spherical mask around the stars to get rid of all of this liquid here. And that would be a portion of the star field. This is another still I used where I cropped this out. And I used all these elements here for the stars. I probably should have wiped this off right here. And I even think you can see this in the finished composite. Like I said, I kind of like the imperfections and they also twinkle too. And that's a key thing. You gotta have some twinkle in them and it's a natural twinkle, believe it or not. I, I haven't even done much like color correction with these. Let's do some looks on it. So you can really take away colors. You change the whole look around with all these different color settings if you wanted to. It does get a little messy though, but that's practical effects for you. We have our composite here. And I, there's three different elements going on. This green top area, that's one cosmic element. There's a star backdrop I made right here. And then there's another one right here as the black hole is kind of sucking in these little star particles. Like you see this one thing coming like... Just stuff like that. It looks like it's like a little mini, like it's a super wide shot and that's like the endurance from Instellar like going right at it. It's crazy. In a nutshell, that's how I kind of created the star fields. And I also am teaching a course on how I created this. It's gonna be like a two, three hour course with the Stan Winston School. It's gonna be a live web course. It's gonna be happening in January sometime. So if you wanna know more about this, check out the Stan Winston School. There should be a trailer coming up soon.